What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video primarily here today. So we're going to talk about this rumor regarding a front runner to direct Scream 7 who doesn't have a deal in place. But as I've been stating on Twitter, stated in a few videos, one or two at this point, that I had heard they have a director and they pretty much have them locked in. But I guess there's no deal in place for said person. I again don't 100% know who it is. So I'm not going to bother saying any names that I've heard on my channel. However, Sinistealth put out a tweet and then we'll work our way up to this rumored front runner. Sinistealth put out some tweets yesterday going over the status of Scream 7. One in particular stated that Spyglass is still operating like Scream 7 will be a 2025 release. The producers do want to change the negative press. So my sense is we will hear about it pretty quick if anything major develops. Then they also had this in response to someone saying, tell us some news about Scream 7. They said no deal yet, but a new director is in advanced talks, not Eli Roth. This person is particularly known for a cult classic that's very much the same flavor as Scream. It's a good choice. Now, this is very interesting because it echoes what I've heard since it's saying it's related to someone being known for a cult classic. Now, I have stated in the past on a video that my best guess would be that someone responsible for a 2009 horror film a horror film that has become a cult classic amongst the horror fans however craving something scary who has gotten things right in the past has put out a video addressing again they made it clear this is just a rumor they're not going out of their way to say it's confirmed or anything like that they haven't done that they're clearly identifying that it's a rumor if this rumor ends up being true I would love this option to be reality. They're saying that they've heard that John Himes is the front runner to direct Scream 7. Now, I'm not saying that this isn't true. My thing is I did some digging of my own and I went to as close of a direct source as I could regarding the matter. And I have my doubts that it's John Himes. However, what I've learned about the process when it comes to hiring a director, that doesn't mean that it won't end up being John Himes. I just found out some stuff that makes me doubt that it's John Himes. I would love for it to be him. I love the direction style in Sick. And if you didn't like Sick, I would say check out his other film called Alone. I thought that was a very good film. It's kind of like a survival horror film or cat and mouse horror, really. More of a survival thriller. But he's done some terrific jobs with horror with those two films and i think he would be a phenomenal director to tackle a screen film and the opening sequence of sick echoes what i've heard from i think zach cherry put out a tweet like this saying get rid of the opening phone call entirely which sick doesn't have a phone call it just has a text message conversation and then mostly just stalking until the attack comes and scream 2 didn't have a phone call why not utilize a lack of a phone call in Scream 7? I would love to see that and let John Hi John Himes do that once again in a tremendous fashion, the way the opening of Sick does. I think the opening of Sick is very intense, very suspenseful, gets you on the edge of your seat, is able to get you invested in what's on your screen right away, uh, has, you, has you guessing, has you wanting to know more, and then the attack comes. You're, try you're wanting to know who is harassing this boy that's clearly out just going grocery shopping during the pandemic and trying to go back home, not knowing that his apartment has been invaded by the master assailant. Master assailants, who we know ended up being very Richie, Richie Kirsch's family-esque <laughs> since the Baileys ended up being the killers in Scream 6. But would you guys love to see John Himes as a director of Scream 7? Do you not like what he did in Sick? Do you not like what he did with Alone? If you haven't checked out Alone, I would say you might enjoy Alone more than you enjoyed Sick. Me personally, I do prefer Sick over Alone when it comes to the screenplay that was written for the film. I prefer Alone screenplay over Six screenplay. Not that I'm taking any shots at Kevin Williamson. Kevin Williamson is still one of the best writers in the horror genre. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. I'm just making this quick because, again, I'm recovering from a cold. My throat is sore, and I don't want this video to be any longer than it has to be. Who would you guys want to see direct Scream 7? If not John Himes, who would you want it to be? And let me know who you think I am talking about when it comes to the fact that, again, my best guess is that it is someone responsible for a 2009 cult horror film. If it's not them, then I'll be flabbergasted that it ends up being someone else. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.